This conference will now be recorded. Hello friends and once again welcome to bispsolution.com. My name is Amit and today I'm going to show you third groovy example. The example takes conditional formatting in data form. So I'm going to write a tiny groovy script which will display the form, the cell color, cell in a different color depends upon the cell value. So this is conditional formatting. Okay. Let's get started. So as like other pass through example of Groovy script, I'm going to create a rule first. Make sure the rule type is a Groovy script. Create new rule. Uh, select your application and cube. I'm going to use a sales planning application. Right click, create new rule. So I call this conditional formatting. I already have one, so probably I use version one. A new rule. And because I need to browse through all member of my grid, therefore I'm going to initiate grid iterator object. Operation dot grid dot data cell iterator. And I want to browse through each member, therefore I use each object and define a condition over here. If I use a global object called it dot missing, if there is no data, probably you like to give some color, background color of a cell. Okay, so give some background color. I have chosen a background color over here as a blue. That is a hexadecimal code of blue. Same way I use else if it dot data. Uh, if greater than is less than 5000, I want some other color. So you can use it dot background color, select some color. Uh, and similarly, I use another uh, else if condition if it is greater than 5000. And use a background color. Okay, let's validate this, save and validate. And I'm going to deploy this. So validation pass with no error and deploy it. You can access any rule once it is deployed. And you can see the deployed rule under deployed and to be deployed. Under system view, there are two folders. Sorry, under deployment view, you can see there are two folders, deployed and to be deployed. And there you can see your rule Conditional formatting version one has been deployed today. Okay. Now, once it is deployed, because this rule uh, browse through all the data cell value, therefore you are required to associate this with some data form. Okay, so I have a sample data form here. I created one sample data form where you can input your target revenue or target expenses, and depends upon the value of the target revenue you can find a different color of a cell. Click on add it and associate this business rule. So all the rules are visible over here. Select your rule, uh, conditional formatting version one. And I want this rule to be invoked. One way you can explicitly invoke it or you can associate with some event. So I'm going to run it through. Once you save it, save it, run after save. And I'm also going to run it through run after load. Okay, so the rule will run twice. So that when you open it for the first time, you see the cell color based upon the value of the cell. In our case, it is less than or greater than 5000 and missing data has the three different colors. Click on save. And now let's test this finish. Now open your data form and I'm going to input some value under this conditional test. Upon open, the rule will run and when you save it, the rule will run. It will run twice. So right now everything is blue color because the first part of your conditional expression applied. If it is missing, it should be blue color. I'm going to input some value over here. More than 5000 and less than 5000 and hit the save button. 
upon save the rule will run once again the rule ran successfully and you see the cell with the value is greater than 5000 it's a green color value which is less than 5000 and equals to 5000 it's a orange color and missing cell have got blue color so this is a tiny example which demonstrate you how you can use a conditional formatting with grid iterator thank you for watching this video please stay tuned with bisptrainings.com and bisolutions.com and more advanced videos are lined up thank you